Hello, it's Elisa from Photobox Designs here, and I want to show you our new advent template. Uh, very simple to use. So when you unpack it, you'll see here that there's a Merry and Christmas letters. Christmas, Merry, they're backwards, but that's okay. Um, they're just layers. You cannot edit the fonts, but you can shut them off and then use your own font to write anything you would like. You can also grab them using the move tool and just move them into a spot that you might like better. Or again, you could just delete them or shut them off and choose not to use them. We also have uh, what I call round number clipping masks and square clipping masks. And the reason uh, I call them both clipping masks is because essentially you could use either one as a clipping mask. And let me show you what I mean. So let's start off with the square clipping masks. You will notice that they are all shut off because if I turn them on, then you have squares behind your, um, your, uh, your images, which of course you could um, move around if you like. They are all numbered to match the round numbers. The round numbers are all mixed up, but if you clicked on the number one, it should work with the number one uh, round clipping mask. So if uh, you're looking to, let's say, fill in number six and you want to use a square, you turn on number six and it should be right behind it. Um, and then what you would do is you would go into the number six and shut off the round one. Everything is movable and customizable. So you could take your, your um, images and you could switch them around a little bit if you needed to and change the spacing. You could change up the numbers. I, like I said, I did match the boxes with the numbers on the round uh, images. So just keep that in mind if you decide to change this up at all. So what I would do is I would go into my round numbers. I would turn off the six, turn on the six here, then click on the number six layer, file, place embedded, and place an image. Um, any image really would work. If you're using, let's say, a photo box image, then you're going to want to use the squares. And that was one of the reasons I made the squares. But you can use any image, really, because it's a clipping mask in Photoshop. So I put this image in. I'm going to right click on it, create clipping mask. And now, voila, she's now in to inside here. Um, there is a green border around it. That is a border effect that is um, applied to all the clipping masks because you can see the effect is here on the folder. If I shut the folder, if I shut off the effects on the folder, it will shut off the clipping mask, uh, the stroke or the line around the box. And uh, that's an option that you have, but this affects all of them or none of them. And um, so that's one way where you can use your squares. Once you have clipped your image in, you can move it around. You can resize it. It's just essentially a clipping mask. And what you want to do is use that move tool. And when you have that move tool turned on with the transformation controls clicked, then it will be very easy for you to just quickly move your images. And then you'll start filling. Um, the, another option would be to use the round numbers as a clipping mask. So you can even have some squares and some uh, circles if you like. It's really up to you. And then of course you have the star on top over here. And um, so let's say we wanted to use number 14. I'm going to click on the 14. It actually just finds it right here in the round number clipping mask. I'm going to go for another picture, place embedded, and I'm going to just find really anything just to put it in there. Nothing too specific. Let's see. Um, I'll put her in there. I'm going to resize it down so she fits. Make sure to drag it over the clipping mask. Once you've clipped it, you can always resize it again and move it again very easily. But I like to sort of get an idea of where the placement should be. I'm going to right click on the the, the layer of the photo, create clipping mask, and now she's been placed inside. So like I said, you could, you have two options. You can use your, you can use your uh, round 
numbers as clipping masks, or you can use the squares as clipping masks. You can use a combination of either or. It should be a lot of fun. So um, thanks for watching. Check us out at www.photoboxdesigns.com for many, many, many more templates. We are a full-fledged marketplace for pho Photoshop templates for photographers. And we have um, a very large variety of over 700 templates at this point. So um, thank you for watching.